2021 has been a fruitful year for the construction of the China Space Station. The Tianhe core module was sent into orbit, and two batches of Chinese astronauts boarded the space station for long-term stay. 2022 is also worth looking forward to, the year when the construction of the space station is scheduled to be completed. What are China's plans for the space station next year? What does the completion of China's space station mean? Let's find out in this episode of Tech Breakdown. To complete the construction by the end of 2022, China will first launch the Tianzhou 4 cargo spacecraft and then the Shenzhou 14 crewed spaceship with Tianzhou 4 to deliver supplies for the Shenzhou 14 crew. During their stay, two lab modules, Wentian and Mengtian, will be sent into space respectively. Each lab module will first dock with the front docking port of the core module and will be transferred by the space station's robotic arm to the side docking ports on each side of the core module. A T-shaped complex will then be formed. At this point, we can say the construction of the space station is completed. The Tianzhou-5 cargo spacecraft and the Shenzhou-15 crewed spaceship will then be launched to begin the in-orbit rotation of the crew in the space station. Moreover, a telescope capsule will be sent into space to fly in the same orbit as the space station to provide observation data for astronomical and physical studies. After the completion of the space station, China plans to carry out more extensive and in-depth international cooperation. The China Space Station is not only recognized as the national uh, laboratory in space of China, but also recognized as a very important uh, platform for the international uh, cooperation. There are four levels of uh, international cooperation. The first level is the joint experiments, which has already been uh, in progress. Also, uh, we can have visitors from other countries. Uh, for instance, uh, some European astronauts uh, like uh, Samantha uh, Christopher Reddy and other astronauts have has already been trained in China. The third level will be the uh, visit of the spacecraft from the other countries, such as the uh, either a manned spaceship or a cargo spaceship. The highest level will be a cooperation based on module level, which means a foreign module from other countries uh, launched and docked to the station and become a permanent part of the station. So this is the height level. It is also uh, possible, uh, technically speaking. We can hope that uh, it comes into reality. NASA currently plans to retire the International Space Station in 2024. So it's possible the China Space Station will become the only space station in operation. Through cooperation, China Space Station is bound to become a scientific research platform shared by the world and benefiting all mankind.